Hello, my name is Stephen and welcome to day 19 of our Daniel Fast devotions. Daniel 10, 2 through 3 says, In those days, I, Daniel, had been mourning for three entire weeks. I did not eat any tasty food, nor did meat or wine enter my mouth, nor did I use any ointment at all until the entire three weeks were completed. As we draw close to the end of this 21-day journey, we find ourselves in Daniel chapter 10. The word says that Daniel fasted for three weeks, and the items he specifically abstained from during this time include tasty food, meat, wine, and ointment. A lot of times, we can have the impression that fasting only counts if you consume nothing but water. Because this sounds so painful, we can often find an excuse to delay starting. If fasting is a stringent, all-or-nothing protocol in your mind, it can feel like an obligation you dread rather than a practice that brings clarity, light, and life to your relationship with the Lord. Partial fasting is still powerful because how you spend your time with the Lord is the heart behind fasting and more critical than what you do or don't eat. Daniel fasted from things that weren't good for him, and chances are there are certain things that aren't good for your soul and your body that you would benefit from abstaining from, like social media, fast food, soft drinks, or candy. Fasting is not just for January. The Bible records multiple instances of Daniel fasting. He prayed continually and always acted with integrity. And these are important principles for us to take note of. Fasting is a powerful discipline that will yield so much fruit in your life when practiced consistently. As you begin to do this, you may actually find yourself ready to take on complete fasting or longer periods of fasting when appropriate. Every time you fast, you can expect God to move in your life and bring new life to your spirit, soul, and body. How will you carry forward what you gain during this time. Consider how you can fast more regularly going forward. Here are three basic questions that are helpful every time you fast. Why am I fasting? What is the heart and motivation behind it? How will I fast and spend my time both physically and spiritually? What is the outcome of this fast? How can I keep a record of what I learned through fasting and carry those forward to grow in maturity?